the mighty will fall. Rock the driver! The members of Country Unit! How have these guys not even been suspended or banned from MLW yet? After what they did to Ace Romero? After what they did? Oh my god! Oh my god! Get some help out here! They just set the man on fire! Against the former champion! Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! no. no. These guys are, they're all about violence! They say that they're global gamers in violence! Familia nyingi zimeathirika na hata mara nyingine kupoteza wapendwa wao kutokana na aina za majiko zinazotumia kuni nyingi na kutoa mushi nyingi. Lakini sasa kuna suluhisho kupitia kwa Super Jiko. Majiko ya kisasa yanayotumia kuni kidogo na kutoa mushi kidogo. Hivyo utunza familia yako kutokana na magonjwa yanayoletwa na mushi. Kwa kutumia kuni kidogo pia tuna save mazingira yetu. Siri ni kuwa Majiko haya ya kisasa yametengenezwa kwa lea nono ya udongo ili kuzuia kupoteza joto, uhifadhi joto jingi na hivyo upika kwa haraka. Kuna aina nyingi ya majiko haya ya kisasa. Waweza kujengewa jikoni mwako au waweza kununua. Usibahatishe. Super Jiko. Upishi smart na salama. Ujumbe huu umeletwa kwenu na Wizara ya Kawi na washirika wenza. kama haukamilishi weekendi yako na Jamila na Wanjiro basi unaikamilisha na nani mm-hmm. ndio mwanzo kumekucha hapa katika dira ya Magwiji ikiwa zimesalia da, dakika kidogo tu kutimia saa moja kamili saa za Afrika Mashariki mm-hmm. ujambo na karibu tukitumai umeshinda vya mapopote pale ulipo jina langu ni Jamila Mbogwa ungana nasi hadi tamati na bila shaka ni wakati wetu hivi sasa uh, usi toke popote ulipo karibu mimi naitwa Wanjiro Mbogwa <laughs> Mbunge wa Kikuyu Kimani Shungwa na seneta wa Kericho Aaron Cheruyot sasa watasimamia shughuli za serikali katika mabunge yote mawili kufuatia kupendekezwa kwao kwa viongozi kuwa viongozi wa wengi na kundi la wabunge wa muungano wa Kenya kwanza wawili hao manaibu wao na pia viranja wa wengi watawaongoza wenzao katika utekelezaji ajenda za rais William Ruto bungeni ambazo ni pamoja na marekebisho muhimu kwa mipango ya malipo ya uzeni afya na pia nyumba zenye gharama nafuu haya yamejiri huku rais William Ruto akiimiza upinzani kupigania nafasi za wachache bungeni kwa vile muungano ano wa Kenya kwanza una wajumbe wengi kualiko hii hapa taarifa kamili Our leader of majority in National Assembly is going to be the honorable Kimani Ishungwa the member of parliament for Kikuyu The deputy leader of majority in the National Assembly is Owen Bayer the member of parliament Kilifi North the chief whip of the National Assembly is going to be the member of parliament for South Mugirango Silvanas Osoro the deputy whip of the National Assembly is going to be Naomi Wako the women member of parliament for Marsabit County the leadership of Senate leader of majority Aaron Cheriot senator for Kericho County. 
Deputy Majority Leader Tabitha Karanja, the Senator of Nakuru County. Chief Whip Boni Halwale, Bullfighter, Senator Kakamega County. Congratulations again. And finally, Deputy Chief Whip Tumbesi Lelegwe, Senator Samburu County. Our friends on the other side will choose the leaders of the minority because they are the minority. They just have, they just have to live with the reality that they are the minority. Let us not have an unnecessary contest as to which side is the majority. Nam bila shaka kongera kwa wote waliochaguliwa. Kongamano la siku tatu la magavana na manaibu wao lilimalizika katika kaunti ya Mombasa hii leo huku baraza la magavana likimchagua gavana wa kaunti ya Kirinyaga Anne Waiguru kuwa mwenyekiti wake mpya Ahmed Abdullahi wa Wajir kwa naibu mwenyekiti na Steven Sang wa Nandi kuwa Kiranja. Akitangaza hayo afisa mkuu mtendaji wa baraza hilo Jacqueline Mogeni aliwahimiza viongozi hao wapya watekeleze ipasavyo jukumu lao la kuhakikisha malengo ya ugatuzi yameyafikiwa jinsi inavyohitajika kikatiba spika wa bunge la kitaifa Moses Wetangula aliyemwakilisha rais alisema serikali imejitolea kuunga mkono ugatuzi kupitia kwa utoaji migao yao ya pesa wakati ufao na kuhakikisha ugavi sawa na rasil mali I now take this opportunity to extend my gratitude to my fellow Excellency Governors for electing me today to serve as a chairperson of the Council for the next year. I am profoundly humbled, honored and privileged to be entrusted, entrusted with this role at a critical time when we have just ushered in the third generation of county governments. Indeed, devolution has come of age. In the last nine years, we have witnessed remarkable milestones in the devolved sectors. I salute the pioneer county governors who have, to a great measure, played a fundamental role in delivering essential services, developing local economies, and empowering communities through robust public participation. Indeed, devolution has had tremendous impact on every Kenyan. Though we have had good progress in implementation of the devolution, it is noted that there is still much we can do to improve on implementation of devolution as envisaged in our 2010 constitution. I am aware that counties have raised concerns with the delays in the disbursement of equitable share of revenue by the national government. In our manifesto of Kenya Kwanzaa, we committed ourselves to ensuring that the shareable revenue is transferred to counties in a timely and predictable manner and in accordance with the law. This will ensure that counties carry on with their development activities without interruptions, including meeting their financial obligations. Accordingly, I will engage the National Treasury to ensure that there are no further delays and that all disbursements to the counties are done on time to enable counties to meet their obligations. Kongera kwa waliotuzwa. Kwingineko halmashauri ya kitaifa ya kukabiliana na ukame nchini imetoa wito wa kuchukuliwa kwa hatua za haraka kukabiliana na ongezeko la visa vya utapia mlo miongoni mwa watoto walio na umri wa chini ya miaka sita na kina mama wanaonyonyesha kutoka sehemu kame. Ripoti ya hivi sasa inasema zaidi ya familia elfu sabini na mbili huko kilifi zinahitaji kwa dharura msaada wa chakula kufuatia ukame unaokumba maeneo mbali mbali ya nchi hii. Wakati wa mkutano wa kujadili mbinu za kukabiliana na ukame katika kaunti ya Kilifi, 
Halmashauri hiyo ilitangaza mipango ya kuimarisha juhudi za kukabiliana na ukame katika sehemu ambazo zimeathirika zaidi. Kulingana na halmashauri hiyo, kaunti tatu za Laikipia, Tharakanithi na Tana River pia zimeorodheshwa miongoni mwa kaunti zinazokumbwa na ukame. Kaunti hizo tatu zimejiunga na zile za Isiolo, Mandera, Garissa, Trukana, Wajia, Samburu na Marsabit na kuongeza idadi ya kaunti ambazo zimeathirika zaidi na ukame kufikia kumi. Walioathirika katika kaunti ni sehemu fulani ya kaunti around 72,000 people. Sasa ile process ya cash transfer tushirikiane pamoja wadau wote ili mtu kila mtu aweze kufaidika na umradi kwa sababu ikiwa hakuna ushirikiano utakuta mradi mmoja unaenda bamba mwingine unaenda bamba mwingine unaenda bamba sehemu nyingine zinawacho lakini tukiwa na ushirikiano tunafikia sehemu ambapo kila mwananchi ana anafaidika hata hivyo kaunti za Baringo, Pokot, Magharibi na Lamu ni miongoni mwa kaunti ambazo hazijaathiriwa zaidi na ukame. Hii ni baada ya kaunti hizo kupokea mvua ya kadri. And we are currently also uh, set up a nutrition based program also for the drought response in Kilifi uh, which will be based on nutritious products um, such as RUSFs. Uh, so this is also the plan. So a combination of starting with cash transfers and uh, some nutrition products as well. Wakati wa huo mwenye kituo soko la mifugo katika kaunti ya Isiolo Abdi Halake amehimiza serikali ya kaunti na ile ya kitaifa kuanzisha haraka mipango ya kuokoa wakazi katika eneo hilo dhidi ya athari za ukame. Mfugo bei yake sasa inasimama shilingi 3000, 4500, Hata hiyo hakuna mtu anaona. Wale wanatoka Nyanyuki, Kirinyaga, Nyeri, Kiambu mudara pande ya Tigania East wakibeba hiyo ngope barabarani hiyo ngope yote nakufa hakuna ngope yote watu naweza kununua around uh, 28000 households that require uh, food assistance uh, cash transfers and other interventions tunakaa empty hivi tunataka msaidizi kwa serikali kwa namna yoyote ya ndio watu iko na njaa ya kutosha Eh, hiyo ndio mimi nasema. Bei ya mbusi ni shilingi 2500 makondo ile kono ronda kuna mtu ananunua. Takriban 60% ya kaunti hiyo wanahitaji kwa dharura lishe ya kuimarisha afya ya wanyama wao. Naam, kuingineko waendeshaji magari na wahudumu wa boda boda mjini Ilbisil wamelalamikia bei za juu za petroli. Lita moja ya petroli inauzwa mjini humo kwa shilingi 250 mtazamaji huku vituo vingi vya petroli vikikosa bidhaa hiyo. Hii hapa taarifa yake. Na... Wa Kenya tayari wameanza kuhisi athari za bei za juu za mafuta na uhaba wa bidhaa hiyo. <tos> Vingi vya vituo vya petroli mjini Ilbisil ulio kwenye barabara ya Namanga havina petroli huku vichache vilivyonayo vikiuza lita moja kwa shilingi 250. Waendeshaji magari na wahudumu wa boda boda wamekuwa kingangania petroli chache iliyopo huku wengine wakiinunua kwa kutumia mitungi. Uchunguzi wetu umebainisha kwamba wateja hawakuwa wakiruhusiwa kununua zaidi ya lita kumi ili wenzao pia waweze kuinunua. Hali ilikuwa hiyo hiyo maili tisa na nkatatoek kwenye barabara ya Namanga. Kwa vile siku hii ni ya soko kubwa la mifugo, watu wengi walilazimika kulala mjini humo kwa sababu magari mengi aina ya pickup na pikipiki ambao huwasafirisha kurejea makoo haya kuepo. Na kuna hii petroli moja peke yake hizo zingine zimeisha kabisa na unaona hii jam. E, na hao watu wanategemea tupeleke porini. Inabidi walale wote huko kwa sababu hakuna mafuta. Inabidi tulale bisil na bidii mahali ya kulala. Hakuna pikipiki inaenda, hakuna magari inaenda. Kwa hivyo tunaomba mheshimiwa wetu Ruto ambaye tumekuchagua juzi na wadhali utuangalilie. Katika kaunti ya Kiambu, wenye matatu za kuwasafirisha abiria kutoka Thika hadi sehemu mbalimbali za katikati mwa nchi, wametangaza nyongeze ya nauli ya 30%. Mwenyekiti wa chama cha wenye matatu katika eneo la Mlima Kenya Mike Karioki amesema na uli hiyo imepandishwa kwa sababu ya kupandishwa kwa bei za mafuta. The buses you charge between 80 and 100 shillings with immediate effect and the for the, 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 the we call them nuisance but the, the, the small the small ones you charge 130 
Nairobi to Thika. Because if you consider that a vehicle that consumes 60 liters to 65 liters with an increment of 25 shillings, then we are going at a loss of more than 1,000 shillings, 1,700 shillings. And that's basically the reason as to why we've agreed to adjust our fares upward with just a very small margin. I request our passengers countrywide to bear with us during this difficult time because it's not only touching on a Thika or Nairobi or Mount Kenya region, but the entire country. Nancy Okware, Dira Yamaguiji. Itakuwa vipi? Ah, ilikuwa napiga hesabu ya haraka hapa. Kabla afueni ije kwa haraka maana yake tunahitaji wa Kenya wote wanahitaji afueni. Eh gari kama ile yetu ni inachukua lita 65. Mmm, full ikiwa ni full full tank. Za mafuta. Yes, sasa ukifanya hiyo hesabu haraka haraka na shilingi 250 mm. inakuja 1016 250 sasa itabidi mama panda ndege hiyo tupezoea barabara sisi tutakuaje na Mombasa kutoka Nairobi eh, ama pande SGR yes. ah, alafu kuna Ezra pale uh, kameraman wetu uh, ameshtuka tumeshtuka naye hii mm. 80 paka 100 mm. sisi itakuwa vipi hiyo ni hiyo ni nyingi 20 ni chapati ngapi hizo nakwambia kadhana pia ni mchicha. Haya, mm. mpenzi mtazamaji ndio tunafika katika pumziko letu la kwanza tunakusihi usende mbali tuna taarifa nyingi kiwemo moja kutoka kule mjini eh, Bungoma mm. Kakamega. Kakamega. Usende mbali. <laughs> Kupata sikiza tu ni mambo mema dial star 811 star 815 hash Mambo mema huwaendea watu wanaosubiri ila mambo mema zaidi huwaendea watu wanaoyatafuta Kupata mambo mema ni kufanikiwa na kufanikiwa ni kutabasamu kutafakari na kuhesabu mema na baraka ulizozichukulia hatua ukazitafuta na kuzipata Amka tafuta ufanisi wako kupata skiza tuni ya mambo mema dial star 811 star 815 hash star 811 star 815 hash do you have a new story to share with kbc get in touch swiftly on email news at kbc.co.ke or call 0723-892-654 or 0734-780-124 Karibu tena mpenzi mtazamaji unaendelea kutazama dira ya magwiji awamu speciali kabisa ukiletwa na sisi Jamila na Wanjiro. Kumbuka pia unaweza kuendelea kuungana nasi katika mitandao ya kijamii at Jamila Mbugwa at Wanjiro Mbugwa na pia vile vile at KBC Channel 1. Muungano wa Azimio la Umoja wa Kenya umempendekeza kwa kauli moja mbunge wa Ugunja opio wa ndai wa chama cha ODM kuwa kiongozi wa wengi katika bunge la kitaifa huku seneta wa Kilifi Stewart Madzayo akiwa chaguo la muungano huo kuwa kiongozi wa wachache katika seneti. Akizungumza na wanahabari baada ya kutamatika kwa mazungumzo ya siku mbili, kiongozi wa chama cha Waipa Kalonzo Musyoka alikariri kwamba azimio ingali na wingi wa wabunge katika bunge la kitaifa huku wakiwataka wabunge wa mrengo wa azimio kutumia idadi yao kuchukua nafasi za uongozi wa nyadhifa mbalimbali bungeni. Mashwali yanapoendelea kuchipuza ni nani atakayerindima kwa kuchukua nafasi ya kiongozi wa wengi katika bunge la 13 Miringo ya azimio la umoja wa Kenya pamoja na Kenya Kwanza tayari imewapendekeza viongozi wao katika nyadhifa hizo huku kila upande ukidai kwamba una idadi kubwa ya wawakilishi 
azimio la umoja wa Kenya imempendekeza aliyekuwa mwenyekiti wa kamati ya bunge kuhusu uhasibu wa fedha za umma na ambaye pia ni mbunge wa ugunja opio ndai kuwa chaguo lao kuwa kiongozi wa wengi katika bunge la 13 naibu wa wandai atakuwa mbunge wa kadhiani Robert Mbui wa chama cha Waipa huku nafasi ya kiranja wa wengi ikipewa mbunge wa Suna Mashariki Junet Mohamed katika nafasi hiyo mbunge mteule wa chama cha Jubilee Sabina Chege atakuwa naibu wa Junet we are now the leader of majority as honorable opio wandai We announce deputy leader majority honorable Robert Mbui the chief whip honorable Junet Mohamed deputy chief minority whip honorable Sabina Chege Katika seneti ambapo azimio la umoja wa Kenya ina idadi ndogo ya maseneta seneta wa Kilifi Stewart Madzayo atakuwa kiranja wa wachache naye seneta Eno Kwambua wa Waipa ambaye pia ni mwandani wa karibu wa Musioka atakuwa naibu wa Madzayo huku seneta wa Isiolo Fatma Dulo akitarajiwa kuchukua nafasi ya kiranja wa wachache baada ya kuhudumu kama naibu kiongozi wa wengi katika seneti lopita seneta Dulo anahudumu katika kipindi chake cha pili sasa atasaidiwa na seneta wa Nairobi Edwin Sifuna akiwa naibu yake hii ni kwa mujibu wa orodha iliyotolewa siku ya Jumamosi at the senate because we recognize we are down by only one senator the leader of minority as honorable Stuart Mazayo senator for Kilifi and deputy leader of minority honorable Ino Kwambua chief minority whip honorable Fatuma Dulo senator for Isiolo and the deputy chief minority whip honorable Edwin Sifuna huku baadhi ya wanachama wa azimio wakiwa wamegura muungano huo na kujiunga na mrengo wa Kenya Kwanza wa Rais William Ruto hali inayobua dukuduku kisheria uamuzi unatarajiwa kutolewa na speaker Moses Wetangula msaji la vyama vya kisiasa au hata mahakama kuhusu ni nani aliye na idadi kubwa ya uwakilishi katika bunge la kitaifa Wengine kwa wakazi wa eneo bunge la Navakolo, kaunti ya Kakamega wanalalama kuhusu hali mbaya ya barabara katika eneo hilo. Wakazi hao waliandamana barabarani kuhimiza viongozi wa eneo hilo kuingilia kati kwa kuhakikisha kwamba barabara hizo zinakarabatiwa haraka. Ni hali mbaya ya barabara ya Navaholo kuelekea Kakamega. Wakazi hao waliogadhabika huku wakifananisha barabara hii na shamba waliamua kupanda migomba na miwa kama ishara ya malalamiko yao kuhusu hali duni ya barabara. Wakazi hao wanadai barabara hii imekuwa katika hali mbaya kwa karibu miongo mitatu sasa. Tumesumbukana miaka la miaka kwa hii ingia watu wanaanguka watu wanavanya nini tena sasa hata ukipanda pikipiki mafuta inaishia hapa mafuta yenyewe ndio hiyo imepanda sasa uchumi hatujui inatupeleka wapi na hii shita ya barabara na sasa hii miaka yote na hii barabara haijaitengenezwa tangu kulundu barabara haijaitengenezwa Ufanyi biashara kwenye soko la Bushiri walisema hali mbaya barabara hiyo imeathiri pakubwa biashara zao kutoka na baholo barabara kutoka na baholo kwenda kameka ni mbovu Biashara yetu kama sisi poda poda ni biashara ya poda poda lakini imechukua masaa matatu kutoka na Baholo kufika hapa Ingoze. Hizi leo biashara iko Bushiri, watu wanaenda Bushiri kwa kufanya biashara lakini kuna wengine wamegwama. Hawezi enda hata lori ndio hii imegwama. Haiwezi enda Bushiri. So biashara imegwama leo. Kweli tunasumbukana. Hii njia ni chafu na tunalia wa mama tuna biashara hatuwezi kutembea kwa hii barabara. Sasa wanamtaka mbunge wao Emmanuel Wango kushirikiana na serikali ya kitaifa ili kuhakikisha barabara hiyo inarekebishwa. Kwa hivyo tunaomba serikali yetu mpya hii. Wajaribu sana watu tengenezee kwa hii barabara ya kwenda na Baholo sana sana hapa Ingoze. Tunaomba mheshimiwa rais mwenye ako mamlakani kwa sasa atushukulikie hii barabara. Kupitia kwa MP wetu wangwe. Trevor Ngendo Dira ya Maguji. Nam huduma ya wanyamapori imepata mzoga wa aina ya kobe hatari mwenye kidona kwenye fuo za bahari ya Hindi baada ya kudaiwa kula karatasi za plastiki pembezoni mwa bahari hiyo kulingana na KWS agarabu windo la kobe huyo huwa ni samaki aina ya jeli ambaye hudhani kuwa ni chupa za plastiki ambazo hatimaye husababisha tatizo la kupumua 
Wahifadhi wa mazingira huko Malindi kaunti ya Kilifi wamelalamikia kero la utupaji taka za plastiki fuoni mwa Bahari Hindi baada ya mzogo wa kobe mwenye sumu aliye na kidona, sawia na chendege kupatikana ufuoni mwa bahari hiyo. Kulingana na watunzi hao wa mazingira, sinaruhusi hizo ni hatari kwa viumbe vya baharini, hususan kobe. Sajenti mkuu wa huduma ya wanyamapori Abu Bocha alisema huenda mnyama huyu aliaga kutokana na ukosefu wa hewa safi baada ya kukula plastiki hizo. Plastics are eaten by the turtles also. Those white plastics, the turtles thinks that is a jellyfish. Special hawksbill feed on jellyfishes. So when they see those plastics, they think that is a jellyfish. So when they eat it, it expands in the stomach and finally it kills it suffocate and makes there and it has been washed away by the water to the shore Bocha anasema wananchi wanafaa kushirikiana na wahifadhi wa mazingira kuhakikisha fuo za bahari ni safi kwa ajili ya kudumisha maisha ya viumbe vya majini It's very important for everybody to handle his or her plastics to keep them in safer place to save the life of the endangered species that we have and the, in fact these species are very few in the world and the, there is a need of us to conserve them Kobe hawa wanaojulikana kwa kimombo kama hawksbills wamepewa jina hilo kutokana na uembamba wa vidona vyao vilivyo nancha kadhalika spishi hii ya kobe ina magamba yaliyojilaza kwenye kaka na kivyo kuonekana kana kwamba ni sehemu ya kukatia ya musumeno rangi na umbo la kaka huongeza dhamani yao sokoni kobe hawa hupatikana kwenye bahari za kitropiki ulimwenguni hususan kwenye miamba iliyo baharini chakula chao muhimu ni viumbe vya majini wasio na uti wa mgongo wala mifupa kwa kutumia vidona vyao vilivyo nancha Inaaminika kwamba kobe wenye vidona wameishi duniani katika kipindi cha miaka milioni mia moja iliyopita. Watunzi wa mazingira chini ya mwavuli wa chama cha Progress Welfare Association of Malindi hujicholea kila mwezi kusafisha fuo za bahari kwa ajili ya afya ya wanyama hao. Irene Mchuma Odim Dira ya Magwiji. There's a new game in town. It's a game like no other. It's captivating. <laughs> It's fun. Entertaining and refreshing. Which year was the film released? Correct answer. out on the second chance television game show premiering on channel 1 Na mkaribu katika dira ya magwiji michezo Jumamosi hii mimi ni Art Eye Lemoka Timu taifa ya Kenya ilipoteza mechi yake ya pili ya mashindano ya kriketi ya Afrika ya T20 baada ya kushindwa na Tanzania kwa wiketi nne jijini Cape Town Afrika ya Kusini baada ya kuamua kuanza mechi hiyo kwa kugonga mpira Kenya ilijipatia mikimbio hamsini na tano baada ya kupoteza wiketi tatu kwenye overs ishirini. Rusha Patel alikuwa mchezaji bora kwa kuipa Kenya mikimbio na tano Sukdeep Singh alipa mikimbio na mbili Rakep Patel mikimbio mikimbio 35 nae Irfan Karim mikimbio 30. Kwa upande wao Tanzania inayofunzwa na aliyekuwa nahodha wa Kenya Jimmy Kamande ilijipatia mikimbio 159. Akil Anil aliipa timu yake mikimbio 52. Kasim Nasoro na Abik Patwa waliandikisha mikimbio 26 na 24 mtawalia. Mchono ujao wa Kenya utakuwa dhidi ya Cameroon Jumatatu asubuhi. Kwa 
fantastic commitment to that committed himself Tuangazie Chess sasa ambapo zaidi ya wachezaji Chess moja na hamsini chipkizi walishiriki kwenye mashindano ya siku moja ya Terian Chess Academy iliyoandaliwa katika jimbo la Sanlam Kenya jijini Nairobi. Christian Mwamba na Ariela Telo walikuwa miongoni mwa washindi wa vitengo mbalimbali kwenye mashindano hayo. Klabu cha Terian Chess Academy kiliandaa mashindano ya siku moja yaliyowavutia zaidi ya wachezaji moja wa Chess chipukizi wavulana na wasichana wenye umri wa chini ya miaka 18 kutoka shule na vilabu vya Chess huko nchini waliwania tuzo mbalimbali kwenye mashindano hayo. Katika kitengo cha wasichana walio na umri wa chini ya miaka sita Ariela Telo kutoka Terian Chess Africa alijinyakulia pointi sita na kuibuka mshindi. Christian Mwamba kutoka Sports View Talent pia alipata alama sita na kuibuka mshindi katika kitengo cha wavulana chini ya miaka kumi. Washindi wengine ni pamoja na Angel Mutua, Jean Christophe na Rania Sheila. We train kids how to play chess by empowering them with life skills and just knowing how to understand situations around them so that they can solve problems. Critical thinking skills can be imparted them through the game of chess. I'm a chess player. I've been playing for uh now two years this is my third competition i want what i want to achieve in chess is go to a slightly more competitive level and just get overall better and meet different people mashindano hayo yaliandaliwa kuwapa fursa wachezaji chipukizi wenye uzoefu kwa kutana na kupima uwezo wao washindi walipokea zawadi za fedha vikombe na vieti kutoka kwa waandalizi nikiripotia dira ya magwiji ni mimi wako edi makina Tukiachana na hayo Alin um, Haaland amekuwa mchezaji wa kwanza kabisa katika historia ya ligi kuu ya soka nchini Uingereza kufunga katika mechi zake nne za mwanzo ugenini huku Manchester City wakiwalaza Wolves mabao matatu kwa sifuri katika uga wa Molineux City sasa wanaongoza ligi hiyo uh, kwa alama 17 na mpaka hapo basi mimi nafika mwisho wa michezo siku hii ndani ya dira ya magwiji tukutana hiyo kesho muda na saa kama leo endelea kutazama KBC Channel 1 mimi ni Art I Lemoka Asante <laughs> sana Ati asema Man City wako mbele wako juu ya Arsenal sasa eh Naonekana <laughs> points zimepita wamewapiku wame, wame, wame Arsenal bila ah. shaka lakini wao wafanya nini hapa si malkia nazi kwa jumatatu na wewe ulikuwa uwe kwenye yale uh, na 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 nitakuwa na, naelekea labda <laughs> siku ya sunday <laughs> safiri salama <laughs> wasalimie wape pole zetu shukran sana ah ya santi sana kwanza <laughs> mtazamaji ndio tunakamilisha taarifa za usiku wa leo mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, tulikuwa na medhali ilikuwa mm-hmm. nasema mwanamke mwenye hekima huijenga nyumba yake mm-hmm. lakini mpumbavu huibomoa kwa mikono yake mwenyewe kwa maana uh, yani inachukua mwanamke na nia zake na ujuzi wake na maombi yake mm-hmm. kujenga nyumba yake mm-hmm. kujenga familia yake mm-hmm. mwanamke ndio kama ambaye ametuzwa ame mm. nguzo ya kusimamia familia yake mm-hmm. na pia vile vile hivi majuzi tumeona sana na wameyazungumzia sana mm-hmm. eh, katika mitandao jinsi eh, mama yetu mama wa kwanza mm. eh, mke wa rais mm-hmm. vile ambavyo wanapenda mambo ya maombi mm. na kuzingira nyumba yake na maombi mpya rais wetu mpya yeah. so tuseme yule ni mama ambaye anajielewa na anajua umuhimu wa maombi Naam. kwa hiyo unaweza kuwa tu mfano Mas. lakini tukome hapo mm-hmm. manake tumeelezea kwamba eh muda wetu umekamilika mm-hmm. hapa kuna jamaa ameni correct pale katika twitter amesema anajiita arab tilingi <laughs> niko anajaribu kutoa salamu za kikale <laughs> ndikasema yamu ne kumbe si wai uh-huh. ni l a lamune ah. eh ni unasalimia watu lamune lamune eh, tutajifunza kidogo kidogo ma, mm. mawili matatu mm. angalau tusikwame sana mm. haya mwingine anajiita ngoms pia huwa anatufuata fuata sana amesema salamu tumie salamu leo na bila shaka wale ma twins pacha mm-hmm. wengi tu ambao wanatuzama tuzama asanteni sana kwa niaba ya wote wale shiriki katika kufanikisha taarifa za usiku wa leo asanteni sana hadi mara nyingine jina langu ni Jamila Mbogwa 
usiku mwanana. Naitwa Anjiro Mbugwa, usiku mwema.